Okay, so that's going to be the, the kit that we're going to be presented with um, when we're looking at a Seldinger chest drain. So if we just open it and go through each bit in turn, um, and it's, it's wise to check through your kit before you do any procedure, just to make sure you're familiar with everything. Um, so piece by piece, we've got the scalpel for the skin incision. Got the introducer needle, um, the wire's going to be fed along. And got the syringe that that attaches to. Got the guide wire that we're going to be placing down the introducer needle. Um, the bevel on the end will unscrew, and then the wire can be fed down. Um, just move it between your finger and your thumb. Put that down. Um, then once the wire's in, we're going to be using dilators. They're of different size and they've got little stops um, on the end of them to indicate at which point you're going to um, dilate up to. Varying thickness. And you then got the drain, which has got a stylet down the middle of it to feed along the wire. And that will unscrew and come out of it. And then finally, to attach to the drain, we've got the end teat, um, which is screwed on and attaches onto your drain. Right, so I'm going to start off just by identifying our landmarks and coming down to the right intercostal space. I'm going to clean and infiltrate with lignocaine. Then we're going to make an incision in the skin. Not as big as for an open chest drain. Okay, then going to get our introducer needle and our syringe. Okay, and we're going to aim this into the chest through that incision, aspirating as we go until we find we're in pleural space. Disconnecting the syringe, holding onto the needle. Okay, then going to get our guide wire, place that in, and advance that. into the chest. Okay, keep your hand on the guide wire all the time. Take the needle out. Get rid of that. Okay. And we'll take the introducer. And we'll just pass that onto the wire. Dilating up our hole. Okay, take that back out. Go to the next dilator. Dilate that up. And finally, the biggest dilator. Dilate the hole to the biggest maximum diameter. Okay. Um, then we'll get our drain, which has still got the stylet coming down the middle of it. And we're going to advance this until all the eyelets are actually in the intrapleural space. So again, advancing that through, making sure they don't let go of the guide wire. Okay, and then when it's come out the other end of the tube, hold on to that firmly and advance the drain down the tract you've just created. Okay. Then take the guide wire out. You can then unscrew the stilet from the drain, taking that out, being aware you're going to may have fluid that comes down the tube when you do that. And attach your three-way tap, closing the drain off for the moment. Screw that on. Attach your drain connector, which goes off onto the drain tube, and then just suture that in place.
and then check you're in the right position with your x-ray and your clinical examination.